2022-23. Uganda Revenue Authority was able to collect 25 trillion 151 billion point five seven. This is net revenue. We surpassed the target which was 25 My apologies, I'll repeat this. Uganda Revenue Authority was able to collect 25.20905 trillion. That is 25 trillion, 209 billion, 05 billion. This surpassed the target of 25.151 trillion by 57.48 billion and it was a performance of 100.25 percent this was an impressive achievement and a growth of 16.4 percent compared to the revenue collected in the previous financial year. So the growth of the year on year was 16.4%. This performance was attributed to a stable and resilient economy, improved administrative measures, and the dedication and sacrifice of the patriotic taxpayers. The graph that is being projected uh, on the screen is the performance in revenue for the last five financial years. From 2018 to 2019, 19 to 20, 2021 to 2021, 22, and then 2022-23. As you can see, with the exception of between 2018-19 and 1920, where the growth was less than 1%, the rest of the years, the growth has been about 12%. 14.9 in the financial year 2020 21 12.4 uh, in 20, the financial year 21-22, and now, 16.4, which is the highest in the last three years, and in the year 2022-23. In the last five years, there has been steady rise in revenue collections, and as the data projected reviews, uh, also the growth in the economy has been steady over the years, from 5.3, from 4.6 in 2021-22, 5.3 in the year 22-23. Detailed review of the performance, domestic taxes collection. During the financial year 2022-23, total revenue of 16.425 trillion was collected, which exceeded the target of 16.118 by 101.46 percent. The target was 16.118, the performance was 16.425, and therefore the net surplus was 236 0.89 billion. This represents a growth of Uganda shillings 2.761 trillion and this reflects in percentage terms 20.21 percent compared to the previous financial year. Direct domestic taxes 
exceeded the target with a surplus. Now this is further uh, detailing of the domestic taxes. The direct domestic taxes alone exceeded the target with a surplus of 724 billion. Non-direct taxes, which include stamp duty, negotiating fee, generated a surplus of 65.8 billion. However, the indirect domestic taxes fell short of the target by a deficit of 500 and 53.54 billion. So this is what brought the net surplus to 236. The next graph, um, the next graph um, shows the performance, the trend of domestic taxes alone um, over the last five financial years again. And as you can see, the growth in the financial year 2022-23 was the highest at 20.2%. International taxes collections, these are what we call customs uh, taxes. A total of 9.329 was collected from international taxes, which is just below, which was just below the expected amount of 9.462 trillion, and it was a performance of 98.56 percent. The revenue growth was 800 and 92.47 billion in percentage, in percentage terms, it was 10.68% compared to the last, uh, the previous financial year. The collections were, however, short of the target by Uganda Shins 136 billion. The import duties registered a surplus of 257.17 billion. Temporary road prices also had a surplus of 12.66 billion. Export levies had a surplus of 3.7 billion. However, the categories that registered a shortfall were VAT on imports of 161 billion, petroleum duty of 152 billion, excise duty of 55 billion and withholding tax of 33 billion. Infrastructure levy by 19.1 billion and surcharge 14.9 billion. And again, the next graph shows the performance of international trade taxes registering growth uh, over the last Five years, with the exception of 2019, again when there was a drop, a decrease by 6.35%. Subsequent years have been growing, although uh, the, big, the, the growth in the last financial year was only 10.58%, which was a slight decline from the previous year. <coughs> Reasons for this revenue performance in the financial year 2022-23. One is the continued economic growth. As you already had, the domestic taxes the direct domestic taxes which are uh, are taxed on companies and individuals, taxes like pay, like uh, income tax, registered a surplus of 7.4 billion, which was significant. On the other hand, the direct taxes like VAT and local 
excise duty and other consumer taxes, there was a deficit. So they reduced this otherwise significant uh, growth of the direct taxes. So the improvement in the collection of direct taxes is, in, is attributed to the economic growth uh, which I've already referred to as having grown at 5.3%. The other attributable factor is the enhancement of the administrative measures and these administrative measures include enhancements in areas management as will be explained later, uh, mobilization of the taxpayers, promote uh, compliance, uh, employment, the mobile offices to be able to reach the taxpayers and generally increase the awareness through sensitization, resolving of disputes through alternative means, ADR, executing compliance initiatives such as audits, use of third party data and analytics to guide our information, use of intelligence. Uh, and general incorporation of technology in improving our service delivery. All these contributed to the significant growth of 16.4% in the revenues collected. Other administrative measures were in the expansion of the tax base. By the close of the financial year, Last financial year, our tax register stood at 3.5 million taxpayers. This was a growth of 33.7% and it added 882,286 new taxpayers in our register. And this was mainly achieved through data-driven registration uh, efforts, but also the fiscal efforts through the tax registration expansion program, otherwise known as TRIP. There were other interventions, like enforcement interventions. In the last financial year alone, customs enforcement operations countrywide led to 14,187 seizures. And this led to the recovery of taxes totaling 132.77 billion. Most of the recoveries were from under declarations. This contributed 42% of the recovered taxes. Misdescription and false declarations, which accounted for 11.7%. And evaluation smuggling and other forms of concealment. The other effort that led to improved performance was recoveries of arrears. In the last financial year, we were able to collect 1.991 trillion from arrears. 1.277 trillion was from non-government areas. These are private taxpayers. And 713 was from government areas. Another service, another administrative effort that led to the improved collection was litigation and debt recoveries. During the last financial year, we were able to recover 130.5 billion from this effort of court processes and debt recoveries. The litigation success rate was at 85.33% and there is a table that breaks down the different cases. 
A total of 164 cases were ruled in favor of the Uganda Revenue Authority, and 33 cases were ruled in favor of taxpayers. 28 were withdrawn in favor of URA, and 6 were split divisions. Sorry, split decisions. Tax investigations, compliance initiatives during the financial year 2022-23 had a number of cases handled. The measures undertaken by this initiative included utilization of intelligence, conducting of investigations, sharing of information, performing scientific analysis, examining forensic documents with a name to be tough fraud and non-compliance while identifying and recovering revenue. Out of these efforts, revenue amounting to 174.67 billion was identified as recoverable. And the table shows the number of cases handled that totaled 167 and the identified revenue totaling 174.6 billion. Other initiatives, administrative initiatives, include the fight against corruption, and closing of any revenue leakages, deployment of efficient technologies like IFRIS and DTS, which have been very useful in giving us data that improves taxpayer compliance, but also improves our accuracy in assessing and demanding taxes. So these technologies are a win-win for the taxpayers and for the tax body. These and many other initiatives contributed to the performance that we are looking at today. Let me now highlight a few things in the period ahead. We are now in the second month of the new financial year. We are working towards the target of 29.218 trillion. This is an increase of 4.067 trillion from the previous financial year, and percentage-wise, it will be a growth or an increase of 16.17%. We are optimistic that with the steady uh, growth in the economy, the support of our patriotic taxpayers and all stakeholders we will be able to achieve this target. Among other things, in the administrative measures, we will continue and improve on our collaboration and engagement with the taxpayers, providing extensive tax education. We will continue the staff improvement efforts, fighting corruption, improving accountability. But in addition, we have also introduced performance management contracting. So our staff will be responsible for a very low target in terms of revenue, but also service, delivery of service. So we have service level arguments that must be observed and implemented at individual staff levels. And this will permeate throughout the organization. So in terms of contracting, we contracted from Commissioner General with the board, then from Commissioner General to Commissioners, Commissioners to Assistant Commissioners, Assistant Commissioners to Managers, then Managers to Supervisors, to Officers, to uh, assistant officers, support staff, uh, short staff,
employees and trappers. Everyone who works in this organization will be part of this performance contracting. We will continue the implementation of digital solutions, particularly DTS and IFRIS. We are making initiatives to revamp IFRIS to make it uh, more readily available through the channels that we use and also more user friendly. We will also continue the, and enhance our capacity in data analytics. We are deploying some technology of artificial intelligence and we are incorporating all these in our new risk management strategy. So we will be able to manage and deter risk of revenue leakage before it happens. We will continue our efforts on audit initiatives and the use of other uh, efficient and mutually beneficial initiatives like ADR, the alternative dispute resolution, voluntary disclosure, and many others. And of course, we will sustain and even up our efforts in skilling of our staff and ensuring their productivity. But in, in addition to all these, we also have a number of new policy measures that are a win-win for the taxpayers and the tax collectors. One of such new policy measures is in the tax procedure code, section 40D, which was signed into law by His Excellency the President last week. And we really appreciate the big uh, signing of this bill into law. Now we have TPC 40D. And why this is important, it is going to cause a great relief for our taxpayers. Because this law will waive all interest and penalty as all interest and penalty as at 30th of June 2023 every taxpayer and then the interest and penalty will be waived. 
that is one policy measure that I wanted to emphasize because of its mutual uh, benefit to the taxpayers uh, but also to government. The next deal that has a benefit to the taxpayer is a new act. It is called Automatic Exchange of Information Act 2023, which is making Uganda part of the, con or part of the Convention of Mutual Administration Assistance in tax matters. And this has put Uganda on a network of 120 countries and financial institutions, all financial institutions within those countries, to share information on financial flows. And what that will do is that whereas there would have been financial flows out of this country that were not visible to the Uganda Revenue Authority, we will now have access to this information. So why is it a good law for the taxpayers? Anybody who voluntarily discloses these financial flows that were taxable and did not pay tax at the time they were made, will also benefit from the waiver of penalty and interest. But if you late, you are a find out using the information that we will get from the network of mutual recognition that we just joined, then penalties and interest will apply. So I also want to use this opportunity to appeal to all taxpayers, especially those involved in uh, international transactions, and transfer funds, take advantage of this new law and come to us for voluntary disclosure, which you do online, you don't even have to have physically, so that your taxes can be calculated and you only pay the principal tax, not penalties and interest when you wait for us to discover. So these are two uh, great incentives for compliance. What is voluntary disclosure, which saves the taxpayer from penalty and interest as per the existing law, but the other one is uh, arrears payment, which will help government recover arrears, taxes in arrears, which are in excess of 4 trillion. But government has passed a law that will allow, that will allow uh, government to forego some of that money form of interest and penalties, but we we'll collect the principal tax for those willing to comply and take benefit of this window. So ladies and gentlemen, in conclusion, as Uganda Revenue Authority, we are very optimistic that despite uh, the high targets, the big challenge ahead of us as a nation where we must mobilize sufficient revenue to sustain us as a country with the changes in the donor environment, we will be able to rise up to this challenge. But we cannot agree with your support, with the support of all our patriotic taxpayers, and as we continue to work and support one another towards this very noble assignment. I thank you very much for listening to me. And I'd like to take my seat now. Here, as those who take the, the wines, ensure that there is a digital stamp. Because that is confirmation that that product has paid local excise duty. So join us in this fight of improving the collections of uh, indirect taxes, VAT, and local excise duty specifically, but also join us in not being part of the fraud. Because there is another VAT loss that goes through invoice trading. I'm sure as members of the media, you have noticed the number of taxpayers whom we have taken to court and prosecuted because of being involved in invoice trading. Invoice trading is where a taxpayer forges and creates an invoice for a transaction that has never happened. So when we get those ones, we take them to court and we prosecute them. And unfortunately, sometimes they are given light sentences, but we are URAGEN, we are not 
the judiciary. We try and appeal. We want the target a punishment of any activity that causes us revenue loss, like invoice trading. So we are dealing with this uh, challenge and we want your support as members of the public and members of the media. I think I've already answered the question on taxation of minerals. Waiver, someone asked if the waiver actually covers all forms of taxes, including goods that were caught being smuggled. Now, of course, once we catch you smuggling goods, um, there is penalty and interest for that activity. That is if the goods are not contraband. If they are contraband, you lose the goods. But if there are goods importable in the country, there is penalty and interest. Uh, Rico, you want to comment on this? Does this waiver even cover where there was smuggling? <laughs> it doesn't cover, or oh, this is particularly for domestic yes. taxes. Yes. So customs interests and penalties are still intact. Yes. Okay. So you get the answer for that, colleague. Uh, this waiver is for domestic taxes and customs. Yeah, because customs now is under a different law under the East African Customs Management Act. So these are domestic laws. And now, because we moved into East Africa, the customs duties are managed under the IACMA, the East African Customs Management Act. So there is that depreciation. And thank you for asking this question, uh, because it has brought clarity. Then, uh, finally, Comrade Mayanja asked about the World Bank pullout and what we think about this. What we think about this is that as a country, when we commit ourselves to address this challenge, we shall go through without much pain. Because it is also unfortunate that we must live on the mercy of the neighbor or a way we wish. And what the bank is giving us loans many times. So, our comment has got the Revenue Authority. We are ready to rise up to the challenge to collect extra domestic revenues that will cover and cushion the country from failing to deliver critical services because of the donor pullout. We believe there is that potential in our economy to collect more. Our tax to GDP is 14%. Other nations collect 20 and above. We are working towards improving that. Maybe this is a catalyst for us to work harder. So our comment is join us as members of the media, join us as patriotic taxpayers, let everybody pay their fair share of tax. Then Uganda will be truly economic independent, economically independent. And then we can be able to survive without loans from the World Bank or any other donor who may decide to pull out because of the laws we have passed in our land. Fortunately for the URA, we embarked on this mission three years ago. We did not know that at one time donors will pull out. And neither did we anticipate that there will be a law that will pitch us against our donors. But when we are celebrating our 30 years, we reinvented our mission and vision statement. And if you can read them with me, our mission is to mobilize revenue for national development in a transparent and efficient manner. That is our mission. What is our ultimate vision? A transformational revenue service for Uganda's economic independence. Now, economic independence means you can live and move and enjoy yourselves with or without a neighbor's help or the way we shall loan or support. So this is what we've been working at as a vision for URA. And of course, to achieve this, we refined our core values, patriotism, integrity, professionalism. This is what we can do 
as an organization. We are committed to these values. We will continue to pursue them until they take us to true economic independence. What do we do? We only collect taxes and other non tax revenues, but they must be backed by law. So that process has been on between the MDA, the agency responsible for that, which I think is Ministry of Works, um, and the technology provider, the Russian company. It has not yet come to us by way of a law or a regulation for us to collect. So all we shared with Parliament, and I can share with you, has been the engagements, writing to us, telling us, in fact, in this day, we start collecting these fees, and our questions have been, where is the approval for us to start collecting? So we are at the tail end, and we can only wait for the negotiations and the approvals of government to come through, then we start collecting. But we are asked a general question, and I think that's what my colleague uh, from the monitor is asking, uh, that what is your comment about the hiking of border, border fees from 150,000 or they about to 700 plus? And I told him such a hike will definitely have an impact because it's a big jump from that 150 to about 700,000. So our, our, our appeal to the negotiators is that they try and keep the cost of technology low and affordable for the consumers so that the jump is not that significant. Because what will happen maybe a border, but a man will not buy it because it will move the cost from either 2 million to 3 million or something like that. And yet we register quite a number of those and we collect a lot of non-tax revenue and uh, uh, revenue from those motor vehicles and motorcycles. So that is the only comment I can give at that point. The details of the negotiation, the financial terms, what we are not privy to that. We were hearing them from the floor of parliament yesterday, we have not seen that. Uh, differences in some of the tax rates, it's an incentive for most money. So the eastern border of late we've been fighting a lot of rice and textile smuggling. Why? Rice, there's a lot of cheap rice across because Kenya as a country decided to lift the tax on rice. So many tons of rice were imported in that country and they are trying to fit that in. Constant battle. Yesterday we got a whole tree full of rice being smuggled through a porous border and commissioner customers can testify to this. Textiles are broken in bulk. So we are trying and uh, there is no one solution to this because we have government of Uganda invested in very expensive equipment and intrusive scanning, which helps us scan all the trucks that come through the gazetted routes. And that's what helps us to uh, seize these many thousands of concealments which I've just read in my report. But then, how about those who use borders borders and they create bulk and they use border borders and then they do the bulk? Those ones were using intelligence, intelligence to bust their networks. And that's why we were able to collect uh, very significant revenues from seizures. But also, we are looking at the technology of drones to help us keep uh, some visibility over those porous borders. And it's one of the things that we are trying to acquire papers improve the management of smuggling across the porous borders. Number two, government payment of arrears. Also a very valid point. Now the arrears are in two forms. There is what you refer to where it is some um, indiscipline by some elements of either local government or other institutions and uh, MDAs of government when they receive money and they don't pay. That we are going to keep it through integration with IFMIS. That exercise has been ongoing. Commissioner IT uh, will have the last update on this, but we are deliberately pushing that. It has taken long, but we have appealed to every level to have that fully visible to us. So that every time 
the accountant general presses a button sending funds to a certain MDA. You are a is able to make off our tax element and we get it direct. That will happen that kind of industry where they receive and they don't remit. The other area which is not necessarily in this field, but is maybe on the availability of resources is where government will be spare and they don't pay. And as I acknowledged in the report last financial year, they came through and paid some significant part of the government arrears. Government is also a taxpayer like any other company or any other citizen. They have an obligation to pay their tax, but of course their government we may not give agents a lot said. <laughs> they will not have permit us. But through engagement, we are making breakthrough. Government is being responsive in fulfilling their tax obligation like any other taxpayers. And the so kind of way as no sima nyo, nesebu sima, or as support the Mutuan day, Momaka no Ben Simbi, or Gwen Deco, or Gwen Kumi Bidi, Adin Wavidi, Adin Waysaku. Prayers, prayers, prayers again, or I will not be one day, Nensima, Bona, stakeholders, Abawagira, Okum Soro, Botademu, Araba Uribe, Abariwano, Uarero, Ne civil society, Ne government institutions, Zona, Sobaziza URA, Okunganya, Um Soro, Mumaka, Mugwensimi, Ogwedeo. To report a Um Soro, what are the Kumaka, the Pina target? Ya trillions, a very good tano, the billion, Chikumi, a tano way move. Kumaka will bag in the Uguera Po, Mwezi of Kumkaga, and Kapa Satu, while it was of Kunga and a trillion, a very good tano, the billion, Billy, Mwenda. It's together, Kwaso Kungana. The same government they are to me, Momako Ben Simbi, the three Samu Billioni, Atano, Momusamu, Motuna, Namunana, the percentage Chukumi, Ne Otuno Witamu, Abidimu Saku. Chino, to see Manio, Abamu Sola Sosa, Okunga does the same, the two Sima, Abakunga Nomsoro, no way they live for no way while the Psima or Nava to Wagira, Oxora to Capuchino, the Tumari de Zumanka, and the Tuliba Wanguzi. The Yoksi Radara, Psima Yokatonda, at Wadi Oblamo, Namagazi, Oxora Kora Gumurimo, Gokunga and Soro. The Chitako, Nayogede, and Soro Kawabisi Pura Prana, Gambia Ketano, and Malega, Naye Gabumaka. By percentage of Na yuko noma kuhuwe de abiri mwe bila abiri mwe sato, umsoro kwa kuzi percentage kutoka na mukaga na utumbo muna, chetu si mdenyo, bora abasoko zaji noma mukura kuno wade kunene ati kuyanza katunda soko ziza. Esente zino, ezawa mu direct taxes, esente zetukunga njawa na Uganda, kuvamia soko ya domestic. Ijawa na Ijaiga na msono nga VAT, nga loko exercise duty, nga pay as you are, nga income tax. Ukukunga ywa ishitongo lecha cha domestic taxes. Kwa jayo trillion kumina mkaga, na utundu, na billion. Trillion kumina mkaga, na billion, na na adhiri mutano. Guno. Why it's a target that we need to see for the Okfuna, 
Ezali trillion kuna mukaga ne billion chikumi chinana mumunana. We gamba domestic taxes za kora one hundred and one percent point four six. Um atecho chareta growth mu revenue ya twenty point two percent ya domestic taxes. International taxes kuna we msoro international taxes ya trillion mwenda ne billion bina nkaga mubili wegamba international taxes zaabula ko zaabula esete zaabula estawera zali uh, billion chikumi asatu mukaga ne performance yali chenda mbonana percent na utundu atano mumukaga Ensonga zimweza tulete no kukola uh, Burundi mu mwaka wa Provence ko kwende ekisokera dala yali uh, kula kulanya kwa economy economy ya fenge Uganda e, e, ya kula Burundi ah uh, mwaka wa kwende ne percent 5.3 eno growth uh, ya contributing kuzime sente ze twayo ngera ku kunganya ekyo kubiri ekyayamba ku kongera ku mweza ah eteka teka tuteka ko omukulunganya ebyo kusoroza omusoro ze twita administrative measures okusokera dalala ah management ya yola ya teke sira ku gaziwa tax base kongera kuba ubo musoro abali kulukarara no musoro omwaka guno kwede kwa yongera ko abawo musoro emitwaro chinana munana ne 12 bibiri chinana mukaga at tax base ya fe oba tax base ya fe eliwo abawo musoro million sat h2 so gaziwa tax base chayamba no kongera sente ze kwa kunganya Echo kubiri kwa hali kuteka ko uh, measures oba uh, plan is blocking uh, umusoro kwe kubade kuita nga kufa. So enforcement measures mburu ngeleza. Mbipoti ze nga mbituwa sobulu kukua ata ebi intu mbituwa lukumu mungu minya chikumi chinana musa yetwa sizinga ngabageza ko kufurunja ngate bisa sude misoro emitufu eida ngabali bakoza na declaration oba bali bakoza anda valuation oba misclassification atengi byona kwa bijamu billion chikumi asatu ku bili no tundu kusangu misangu ekitongo le cha customs ngachikwata bageza ko kufurunja etirala yali okusasu za mabanja agabadde lukalala lwafe nga aba abako musoro tebana bakusasula kato lukalala lwafe luko amabanja agawera trillion nya ne billion bina cheta musatu na yekwavo mwaka kuno kuende kwasobola okunganya amabanja agawera trillion emu ne billion bibiri nsangu musangu zino zaba mabanja kwa kwa mabanja no zino zaba mabanja aga private sector abantu ababulijjo abale te bintu oba ababali betwa bale tsanga kwa inyo musoro na ikati kwa ile sente sasula ne bagenda mabanja abo basa kubona basasula trillion emu ne billion bibere sana musanga ne government ya sasura amabanja akawera bilioni lusangu 17 so mu babanja mu mwaka guno lensi bokwete twaso ko kujayo kumpi trillion bili trillion emu ne bilion wenda tenda mwemu ezo zaba babanja kitimu ibyatu ya mukora bulungi ekirala 
je misango je kwa cheka mkoti oba je machukua na mkoti na kibanga na mkumu solo je misango njari mkoti chukumi mkaga mwena yuwa la ea aji wangula balini batu sasula batu sasula batu sasula bilion chukumi mwa satu ne 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 miliona chano bilion chukumi mwa satu zava mkubangule misangu mkoti oba mkusasuza ama waranja letukoze sa debt recovery akukawa tukacha asobra fake collecting tukateka mwa court bailiffs ne tukateka mwa court ne watu sasura almost uwe mpaka so misangu jetuwa wangula mkoti yari chukumi kanga mwena jewa atu wangula wanga tetuja kulimba jino natu wati wangula asatu mwesa batu wangula na faith ne tuwari wala tetufunye msoro aa na hiyo walo ejaji wa mkota hili munana nga wala ni kija kuwangula ni spirit wala mandona wangu doruda mwana wangu doruda ya hili misangu mkaga so performance ya hili ya tuka kwa sete chinana mutano mwutu mwisatu performance ya ejaji ya mbako ya hili ya tax investigations bado beba no nyeleza Nike jizeze misoro ejirimu engele cha fraud kukoko humbi. So, mbako zesa science, mbako zesa intelligence, mbako zesa forensic examination of documents nevirala. Banduna huwa atu yamba, kwa identifying mbako misoro kukwa alibu wera billion, chukumi nisamu kumunya. Ne technology zendala, zetu zetu leta, nga ifris NDTS, na vili atu yamba kukoko. Wadimchia mwana mu, mkatu kutunyo nyote mwungereza Kwa gara kukongera, kukuteka mbandu wa mwinjo Na ye, abantu, abatu ya ndia po, abasaba receipt za mwenga ye receipt Obama yenge ndereza, nebala mwati chema nyo ndi Chiriko dikito stamp Na pia mtu ya ndia po, kukuingrizi mwamu soro Nga tukwazi sa technology eno So, itisende yo, pala ye ku Mwaka kuno mpio kwa hizi mbi kwa chuta niseko Tuina target ya trillion na viri muenda Ne billion bibiri kumina mnana Trillion na viri muenda Ne billion bibiri kumina mnana Ye target kwa mwaka kuno kwa hizi mbi A viri muesi, a viri muesa tu a viri muena Tusu vila nyo, ate tusawa Tika tonda jakutu ya amba Neno target kuti wangwe So no kusa zine sente kwa wano kuisa mtu itemu kubanga nizu tupande tusubi na kufa kwa donors na zuzi la luka zizu utanja mnungi so nge kubanga tupande tusama kwenda kubatile wangu teke amani mwesira mkuo msoro mnungu au msoro mtufu kwa ino kuwa nafe yuwa la e kuja gena maso kukumyele zadara yetu zetu kola kukumani senguzi nungubi yetu zetu kende kwa imalida na eche chumu kuja hati ya mba kukumunga nisente mtufu yetu cha kiliza mungu ya na kola wanu kukuta kola yetu cha nishamba zima kwa chukola kwa chukola kuliski yuwe kukwata kwa hivyo kufuruma kwa kukulita msukuru kumulani chidara Technology, ino jetu, gedeko, ya ifris, NDTS, tigenda kutigazua, mwukula matikula mwungi, ne data analytics, ne artificial intelligence. Kwa hivyo, 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 Sogole kufuna msoro mwungi kufuna atuyamba kufa mkwewola kufa mkusawa Kumanga zine nchuka chuka ezize zibako mbadona zina wala na zija kukawuba we mbasa nako support atifa wanoroka ringa tetu tade maa maanyi 
ongera ku misoro ngo tukumba ya local sija kutekeza government plans sija kuwa test china this is financing na ito wa one day sija kola chone tusoboka ngaba uli aba kunga nyo musoro kwe gaira nawe aba wo musoro ndamu mwena stakeholders ngaba aba uli tukirira banansi tubayibirize mu muntu awo musoro mutufu na zero che Si va a tax procedure code, si va a tax procedure code, si va a tega, 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 Zese sete zee yungi na mbeji modelizu kukuta sasura mbute. So, yena anayu wayu na sasura msoro. Nga tezina wena na kuzo mwezi masatu, mwezi uo kwa uweku na bili, mwaka kuna, mwagi mwusatu. Aja kusasura principal yeka, then principal ni interest in jiweko. Elio teka kuji, na igada yena, haine wa anjali ya tax ya wa jiwa. La venta sasura zime sete za principal tax, then interest in the penalty in the Jakuti Wako, the main taker. They take a look at it, here you go, the Ita and Trump over there, but transferring the same to Singra Dara, who says they will, like the Vasikri and the one, one of the Bokoza and the one of Uganda. Government policy, Kiriza, Gassi, the Kamusia, over China, Jonah Jova, the sort of syndicate said, and I always saw from the soul. That Singa was a syndicate, not a sassu from the soul. The main taker. The same the writer automatic exchange of information. The today Uganda network is seeing a chunu mavi is exchanging information. But when we do not have the information of our government of what's in the same day, the tower of the soul, the Kwacha Rabbit, or going up Sasura, the same day, so now I go back the penalty. Na hivyo saru kuzi sa wimbe ya voluntary disclosure Mujia kusasura sete Mujia kusasura kusasura mboka Mujia kusasura kusasura mboka Mujia kusasura kusasura Ama teka manji Kusime nyo government Kusime na dana president wafe Atande kusimi nicha Mujia teka gana gai siwa Mujia kusasura Mujia kusasura income tax Mujia kusasura excise duty Na malala Mujia kusume na fetu ya kwa tufuru Mujia kusasura kusasura ama ulire Mujia teka kusasura 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 Na hika na habili genjo kende kwa gaina advantage Yo government Taxpayer gane kwa hu Ne government Ne funa Ne tia nwa de ya funa Mwewa ne nyo Mwewa lopuliza Mwewa loptua gira Kapite kumilimo Gende Kino nyo msoro Mwaka kuno kuchuta nisope Kwe simbio mpia Soro kuita kwa mwamuzi Mwaka kuise mungu na kuwekele